वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 4.1 ऑफ चैप्टर 4 व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द मैथमेटिकल एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एग्स द नंबर ऑफ इंपरफेक्शंस पर 10 मीटर्स ऑफ अ सिंथेटिक फैब्रिक इन कंटीन्यूअस रोल्स ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म वेट्स इज गिवन इन एक्सरसाइज 3.13 ऑन पेज 92 एज the values of x are given and the probability density function of it is also given here okay so that is what that is the density function or we can also call it the pdf okay so this is the pdf of x so on the basis of this data we have to find the average number of imperfections per 10 meters of this fabric okay so we have to solve it and here we have to find the average number of imperfections which is basically the mathematical expectation if you want to find out the expected value of a random variable x which is also represented as mu we can always find it out by multiplying the value of a random variable which is x with the density function of it okay so this is f of x and if we have more than one random variable let us have x1 so we have to multiply it with the fx1 which is the probability density function of x1 similarly if we have also x2 so multiply it with fx2 okay and so on up till and until we have xn f of xn okay similarly we can also represent it with what we can represent it with x subscript i and f x subscript i where i starts from 1 and at end n okay so that is the mathematical expectation or the average value now here we have the values of x we have the value of f of x so what do we have to do here in order to find the expected value of x let us multiply the values of x with the corresponding density functions so here what we will have let us multiply this 0 with the corresponding value of it which is 0 0.41 so 0 0.41 plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.37 so 1 multiplied by 0 0.37 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.16 okay 3 multiplied by 0 0.05 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.05 and here 4 multiplied by 0 0.01 4 multiplied by 0 0.01 okay so multiplying them together what will you get here it will be 0 okay and all other values will become 1 multiplied by 0 0.37 0 0.37 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.16 0 0.32 3 multiplied by 0 0.05 this is 0 0.15 and plus 0 0.05 sorry this is the 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 multiplied by 4 so i will have 0 0.04 okay so now adding them all together what will i get here with the answer of it will be 0 0.88 and that is what that is the average value which we wanted to find out okay most of the people might have the doubts with respect to the expected value that how can we find out the expected value like this one because they have the doubts in their mind that if we have four numbers let us have those numbers as one five three and two and if they want to find out their average what do they have to do they just add them together okay and divide them over the number of items we have and this is basically the case where all the items are equiprobable because you can see here that this is the same scenario which we have represented here because here it can also be represented as 1 over 1 by 4 plus 1 over 4 multiplied by 5 plus 1 over 4 multiplied by 3 plus 1 over 4 multiplied by 2 okay so here you can very clearly see that this 1 over 4 is what 
that is the probability of each of the item here because each one of them is equiprobable. So, therefore, this is 1 by 4. So, this 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, this is what? If you add them together, you will get 1. So, that is the probability density function and each number here has been multiplied with the corresponding probability density function. So, this formula also holds in our daily life as well because they are the maximum mathematical expectations are usually called the average of the numbers ok. So, the same scenario has been used, but here in terms of the probabilities if you will see them you will also see the reflection of each method here in each other ok. So, that is it for today. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.